Hi, welcome to DataFinder. Today we're going to show you how easy it is to create a new predictive model using DataFinder's life data and your customer data. First, you'll want to go to the Predictive Model Builder dashboard. You can do this from DataFinder's homepage by clicking the orange drop-down button and selecting the Predictive Lead Score Builder option. This is as easy as following five simple steps. Step 1. Name your predictive model. I'll name it Ticket Sales 2015. Now, step 2. Upload your training file. You will need to upload a CSV file of your customer data containing a full name and at least one of the contact attributes listed here. An email address, phone number, or postal address. This data is used for matching your customer data with DataFinder's life data. The more of these contact attributes you have, the stronger your model will be. Just follow these guidelines and you'll be set. Now you have two choices to make about your model, and it really depends on what kind of data you have. If you only have customer data, information about people who have purchased your products or services, you simply choose option one. Otherwise, if you have data from both customers and non-converters, maybe from an historical marketing campaign, you would choose option two. Option two will give you the strongest predictive model. Ultimately, the type of data you have will make this an easy choice. Again, just remember to follow the guidelines for either option you choose. I'll pick option two since it will create the strongest predictive model. And then I'll click Next Step to continue. For step three, because I'm using customer and non-converter data, I'll need to tell DataFinder what column in my file has my customer flag and how to recognize it. Click the drop-down and select the column by name. Mine is called Customers, and my paying customers are denoted by a number one in the column. Notice that the rows containing paying customers in the data sample below will be highlighted blue. Now let's move to step four. This will allow you to match the inputs, the contact attributes I spoke about earlier. You will notice that some of these are pre-selected. DataFinder has the ability to find the contact attributes in your file. It is always best to verify that these are correctly identified, as you may have data that resembles a phone number or address in your file that you don't want to use. So take the time to verify these fields. Now for step five, the last step. This section allows you to use specific columns of your data in building your model. Please note that the columns you choose here will need to be present in all future files that will be scored using this model. Now you can begin building your predictive model. You can see your model being built on the My Models page. This may take a while depending on how large your training file is. Be patient, it is much faster than having a team of data scientists doing it for you. That's all there is to it. Now you can build your first predictive model using datafinder.com.